It's Derek with Derek Bowman in detail again. Um, had several questions from my last YouTube video about uh, how to my actually water trunk works. So I'm gonna break it down to you real quick with a quick informing video. Come follow along with me. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, break it down to you. My trunk has a, a colon steamer in there. It's got extra cars, gasoline tank, chamois, brushes. These are long handle brushes I use to scrub the rear wells. This is a brush that I actually use right here to uh, do uh, SUVs and big vans and stuff like that. I got several mitts that I use. I got a mitt to uh, clean the uh, rear wells and actually the um, rims and another mitt for the body because you don't want to contaminate the two. Um, like I said, man, the trunk is self-sufficient. People stop me all the time. I be at barber shops, beauty shops, like in the parking lot setting you see here. And uh, the first thing they ask, where your water source come from? So I'm just gonna break it down with a quick video today to show you where my water source come from. And you can wash six to eight vehicles with this car if you're going full throttle. And if you do water this wash, I can do 10 to 12. I'm just gonna show you a quick uh, informative video on how my water tank system works. I got a 25 gallon uh, tank from uh, Tractor Trailer Supply. Got it for roughly about 320 bucks or so. Uh, modified the hose a little bit as you see here. It's got a gun with the adjustable knobs on it. That way I can uh, dilute the uh, pressure what I need. But the water tank, I got the concept, basically people spray fruit trees and uh, pesticides and stuff on the back of the four wheelers and stuff like that. And I said, you know what? If I can get that concept and do the same concept and see how it work out for me. I don't really advertise stuff like this here, but this done so works really good when it comes to grease and stains. You feel like if it can clean a duck in the ocean, it definitely can clean your brake and debris off your tires. So I apply just a little bit here and I don't try to uh, cross contaminate my, my mitts. And I just apply a little bit of water supply here. As you can see, I can, I can adjust the water how I want it when it comes to actually using this type of uh, um, deal here. You follow along with me. I go ahead and start from the bottom to the top. Just uh, lightly find a little bit of water. Get my brake dust from the heat summer. Make sure your calibers and everything are cooled down. And I'm gonna apply a little soap. Basically break it down uh, the tires, in between the rims, hub caps or whatever you may have. And then I actually put your hands inside here if you got bigger rims, that way you don't cut your hand or anything. But I just lube it up with soap, hit the rear wells when it comes to that. And I make sure I cover everything because you want a clean tire before you apply Omerol and stuff like that. So I just try to make sure everything is good and covered when it comes to this. And then I come back with my actual spray gun here and I go from top to bottom this time. I started from the bottom to the top. Now I'm going top to bottom. Just to make sure I cover everything when it comes to uh, cleaning this. And I just take it from top to bottom, bottom to the top, same method. Make sure everything is good and correct it for the customer. And another concept I use, might not be uh, important to most, but important to me, is a bug sponge. You don't know how important this is when it comes to people living on country roads and, and off in the backwood areas. This right here, you're going out of town, you see a lot of those summer bugs or ladybugs, whatever, kissing your windshield. I apply some of this soap here, which again, like you say, and I come with a concept of a little some of this interest shampoo soap. That way you don't strip none of your clear coat off of your, off of your paint. And I just apply a little bit here, uh, give you that double trector, trifecta uh, experience. And I apply a little bit here on my uh, water as so on the sponge. And I apply a little bit on, on the uh, actual front part of the surface to make sure you lube it up just right. Like you don't want to put it on a dry surface because it might have the tendency to scratch your paint. So what I do is apply a little bit here. I'm gonna start from the top, work my way to the bottom. I'm gonna hit all the hot areas that you see bugs when it comes from coming from out of town. And this right here, the bugs, you don't know how important that is, but bugs actually carry acid off in them. And actually when every time a bug, I mean a bird eats a bug, it actually craps on your car. That's why your paint has the tendency to have um, acid spots and stuff like that. So it's very important after going out of town, wash it within the first two to three days. And then I can hit here, but hit my mirrors if needed. Sometimes people miss those type of areas and I hit the front windshield as well. That's way you just clear all the bug resonance off, off your car. That way you have any issues when it comes to that. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off now after I apply the bug, uh, bug sponge. Just get all the extra uh, bug juice and, and soap off the car. So that way it'd be a, easy, a lot easier for me when it comes to the drying method. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some water here. As you can see, the sprayer has tons of water pressure which you need to get it done. So make sure we're clearing everything out here. Getting hit in all areas. Start, do that start from the top to the bottom. That way you can make sure everything's totally rinsed off. I have a California blade here. I'm gonna show you a demonstration on it in a minute. And I go with the old school chamois. Follow along with me. As you can see, using this blade, it cuts your time in half. The water just beads right off. I start from the top, work my way to the bottom. One stroke pass, all the water is gone. 
So that's where when you have like a lot of cars lined up or whatever you're at, you try to get in and out or whatever, make sure the customer is enjoying it and it actually doesn't scratch the paint at all. It's actually made to bleed water off of cars. So I basically just come here and work my way from the top to the bottom. Make sure I get everything, everything off the vehicle. And then I come back with the chamois. Uh, chamois method now after I came back with the water blade and the, and the chamois just basically is getting off the excess water that I wasn't able to get off with the blade on the nooks and crannies and stuff like that. And then some people actually use air compressors or whatever, which I do have on my vehicle. And actually I can blow, get all the extra water out of the cracks and crevices. But this is a quick little informative video, kind of showing my basic car washes when I do come to clients' house or in, inside the uh, parking lot. With the method now, you see after everything's been done, I'm just coming through with a terry cloth towel, drying off the excess water. So that way I can get ready to apply some of my, uh, my solution here when it comes to the tire shine. It's a 20 or thousands of ones on the market. Everybody got their own preference when it comes to tire shine, but I found out an actual product that works for me. So uh, uh, no means I'm getting paid for this product or anything, but it is something that I feel comfortable with putting on my cars as well as my customer cars. This right here is uh, some of the Meguiar's uh, gel that I use. I put on an applicator pad, actually maybe like a quarter size. That's what uh, I diluted to when it comes to tires. And I apply some on here. It don't take much. What I do, I make sure I coat the whole tire. And this stuff here works wonders on tires. And what I do is I apply it on there and let it sit. I tell customers, let it sit uh, uh, three to five minutes after I apply it. That way you get that full lasting shine. And actually when it rains or whatever, this stuff lasts you maybe a week or so. So you don't have to really worry about actually um, trying to reapply anymore because it's not water based. It's like petroleum gel based. And it works good for me. And I actually put it on all of my vehicles. So like I said, you will see at the end of the product, but this stuff here works wonders. When it comes to tires. Thanks for tuning in. This is Derek Mobile in detail. I did a final product here on my basic washes. And my basic washes consist of wash, clean your tires, vacuum, cup holders, wipe down your dash, windows, and armor all. Uh, that's my basic coverages, whatever. And when you get through with it, it'll be shining like a diamond. Um, uh, my prices vary from, from place to place and, and wherever I go, but I try to make it fair so that way you keep uh, me coming back as a, a faithful customer. And I try to do it right the first time. I always have my customer walk around one more time before I leave to make sure you're a satisfied customer. And if you like the video, hit the like to subscribe button and God bless you.